Whether you're planning a backpacking trip or a weekend away in San Francisco, I've got five money-saving tips that you can use coming up right now. What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. My name is Sean. If you're new here, we talk about money and self-improvement topics in the hopes that it helps you live your best life. So if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing. Right now, I'm doing a bunch of videos, five videos hopefully, that I'm calling five and five. So five tips really quickly in under five minutes. Today, I thought I would share with you five tips that I use when planning traveling, which is something my wife and I love doing, in the hopes that it helps you save some money. So here we go. First is booking your flights. You can sign up for flight alerts on websites such as Google Flights. This is a good way to keep track of some of the flights that you're interested in. It'll send you emails or alerts when flights start to get cheaper. A lot of people say that flights get cheaper around the two to three month mark before you go to leave, but we've had experiences where we've had really good deals on flights even as far as seven months ahead or even six weeks before the trip. So keep an eye out for those, sign up for alerts. That's the best way to know when prices are going up and down. And then you can check forums or check with friends and family to know what a good price is for that destination so that when it gets to that level, you can book it. The second tip is to be open to new destinations. Some of us are restricted with our schedules and can only travel at certain times, but if you're open to destinations you don't normally consider, you can find some really good deals on places that you normally would have never thought of. And it's a great way to explore parts of the world you normally would never see. In Calgary, we have a website called YYC Deals. I'll leave a link below, but it's a blog specific to Calgary. Keep an eye out for similar websites for your area or use Google Flights. You can go on that website and pick certain dates that you'd like to depart and it will show you details on a map for all the different destinations that are available to you. So that's a good way to save some money as well. Tip number three comes when it's time to book your hotel or hostel. Use online websites such as Airbnb or Kayak or Hotels.com and look for hotels that have a 24 hour cancellation policy. This way you can book a hotel, but you can keep shopping around and if something else comes up, you can cancel your first booking and book the second one. On this trip actually, we did that trick and we were able to save $300 just on our hotels by continuing to shop around after we had booked. I'll leave a link to some of the websites that we use below. Hey, if you're liking this video so far, remember to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll share an extra tip at the end of this video, so please watch till the end. My fourth tip is to use a travel credit card. My wife and I put all of our expenses on a travel credit card and gather up the points and typically one of us flies for free anytime we go anywhere. Some of these cards even give you a sign-up bonus with enough points to buy a flight outright. Tip number five is to look up city passes. If you're going to a city such as San Francisco, you can look up a city pass on a website such as Costco. If you go to the website, you can find these passes that let you check out multiple attractions in the city at a discount. In a city like San Francisco, you can find a pass that lets you get on hop on hop off bus and even see a couple of museums and it saves you about 40 or $50 US. Go to the Costco website, check out the travel section and you can find passes to many, many different cities. I'll leave a link to that below. So that was five tips, but I've got one more for you. My sixth bonus tip comes when it's time to book your vehicle. We avoid booking a car unless we're taking a day trip out of the city. If we're staying in the city, we try to stay somewhere central because we find it's easier and more fun to walk around and see different things rather than stay outside the city and have to drive into the city every day. Not only that, when you drive in, you have to find parking, which also costs extra money and any money that you save staying a little bit further away kind of ends up being wasted. That and you spend more time going back and forth. What we do is we'll stay in the city and if we want to drive to other towns that are nearby, we'll rent a car for one day and try to go and return in one day. That way we avoid paying parking. Especially in a city like San Francisco, you could pay about $40 a day to park. So those are my tips on planning your travel, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. Please use them on your next trip. Next time, I'm gonna try to research five good side hustle ideas for making some extra money on the side. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you're aware when that video drops. But until next time, be kind, spread the wealth, and I'll see ya in the next one. Bye. Today I thought I would share five tips that I use when planning a trip. Damn it. <laughs> Today I... <laughs> Are you done? <laughs> and today I thought I would share with you five tips that I use. <laughs>
can't even. <laughs>